Welcome to this introduction to eGenera Pen Manager software. During the next 10 minutes or so, you'll learn about converged infrastructure and unified computing, and how eGenera software can drastically simplify your infrastructure and operations. First, let's discuss what could be possible in the data center. Begin by asking yourself, what would be possible if you didn't need to buy I.O. components? Constantly change I.O. devices. Treat your HA and DR separately for physical versus virtual servers. Provision physical and virtual servers separately and constantly reprovision your network infrastructure. And what if you could provision your networking and I.O. as easily as you provision software or a VM? Manage your physical servers and VM hosts from the same console. Adjust infrastructure as easily as you can move VMs. Eliminate three-quarters of your physical I.O. and networking hardware. Or deliver availability and disaster recovery regardless of physical or virtual payloads. Well, this is the promise of converged infrastructure. It allows IT operations to pool and reallocate servers with or without virtualization, I.O. without expensive cards or appliances, networking for any topology you need, and storage without the need for SAN rezoning. However, there are today's realities. What types of IT management challenges do you typically encounter? Well, managing today's typical data center stack, you're probably dealing with multiple tools, including virtual and physical server management tools, software provisioning tools, I.O. and network virtualization tools, load balancing and storage connection management facilities, infrastructure provisioning and device failover routines, HA systems for physical and virtual servers, plus disaster recovery and configuration management tools. Is there a simpler way to manage IT? Let's start with a brief look at how a mainstream approach, virtualization, is used to migrate or fail over an application. On the left, we have a typical stack, including a hypervisor and a virtualized application. The hypervisor allows management to shift the application to second, pre-provisioned virtual host. It's elegant, however it assumes that all applications are already virtualized. Hypervisors have been pre-provisioned and that server I.O. and networking are already configured and in place. Instead, now consider the converged infrastructure approach. Rather than virtualizing the application, the system virtualizes the data center infrastructure. Instead, all of a server's I.O., networking, addressing, and naming is virtual. So the infrastructure can itself be logically reconstituted onto a different server, maintaining all network and storage connection states. In this way, the application sees exactly the same server as it did before the failure. What's interesting about this approach is that VMs are not required. I.O. is virtual. The network is a converged fabric, and the servers are stateless and therefore easily repurposed. In summary, the benefits of using converged infrastructure are using I.O. virtualization, you need to purchase far fewer I.O. devices and cables. Virtualized addressing and worldwide naming vastly simplifies server repurposing. Converged networking yields a wire once infrastructure that you never recable. Virtual switching and virtual load balancing permit infinite configuration possibilities. And virtual storage connectivity easily lets you connect any LUN to any server. Most of all, it's a single integrated management system and not a bundle of separate tools needing integration. And what value is that to you? You avoid having to purchase expensive physical NICs, HBAs, or clustering software, while avoiding recabling and even the requirement for VM licensing on every server. And you get to continue to use standard x86 blades and standard onboard Ethernet and switching. The result is less hardware, labor, and time. It's a simpler, more elegant approach. Using eGenera's PAN Manager, you can define and instantiate an entire server infrastructure profile using a single GUI. With a few mouse clicks, you can define the server I.O. and network switching, the storage I.O. and switching, server boot images, local DVD, CD-ROM, and KVM connections, and an entire HADR failover policy for the full profile. By logically defining the server profile, PAN Manager allows you to create an environment where CPUs, networking, and connectivity are all instantly reconfigurable. Ultimately, the virtual I.O. and networking components represent a converged fabric, 
and each server becomes a stateless resource with its own virtual NICs and virtual HBAs. Now let's see how to logically define a production data center. We start with standard x86 blades with standard Ethernet LAN on motherboard ports. Blades don't have any disks, nor do they require any physical NICs or HBAs. They're all virtual. Next, using only software, Pan Manager virtualizes all of the I.O. on all of the blades, and then further virtualizes the switching fabric, creating a logically configurable network between servers, storage, and the rest of your data center network. Pan Manager can even create secure, logical domains of server pools and networking for multi-tenant applications. Each server is now ready to be assigned a specific profile. Virtual NICs and Virtual HBAs are first assigned to each active server. Next, logical storage and network connections are established within the fabric. Included within the fabric can even be point-to-point -point VLANs directly between servers. And finally, OS and application images are booted from SAN onto each server. Within minutes, the complete data center software and infrastructure environment is up and running. Let's now see how Pan Manager deals with a hardware failure. If a physical blade fails, a bare metal blade in a spare pool can easily take its place. First, networking to the failed blade is deprovisioned. Then the virtual I.O. configuration of NICs and HBAs is applied to the recovery blade, and network, addressing, and storage naming are reconfigured with the new I.O. Finally, the OS is rebooted on the new blade, and the server is available once again for users. But what if you need to reconfigure all, or just part of the data center? Let's take a scenario where we want to create a mixed scale-out and scale-up environment. The software stacks will need to change and the network configurations will need to change too. Each blade's virtual I.O. configuration now changes. Then the new virtual network is created. In this case, the fabric might include a virtual load balancer inserted between three blades. And at last, the new software environment is booted onto the new infrastructure. So within minutes, your data center software and infrastructure have been completely reconfigured and instantiated. In summary, using Pan Manager software, we were able to use a single converged infrastructure tool to logically define entire server, virtual I.O., networking, and storage profiles, and even to simplify hardware failover for nearly any workload. And all the while, having eliminated the majority of I.O. hardware, point solution software tools, and physical reconfiguration labor. Are you looking for a way out of I.T. complexity? Converge. Unify. Simplify.